Hey guys, welcome back to Gajin Garage. I got to come to you guys to watch something real quick. Hit like, hit share, share this video. I think this is my last video. It's going to be for a while. Reason why, you know, that when I lost my job three weeks ago, um, I had nothing here. Yeah, trying to work out of the house. Um, so also my shirts are not being great. Um, talking to a friend of mine that he owns a shop in North Carolina. Uh, he heard what happened to my YouTube channel, and it's all gone. I saw my tools, so all the motors out. The only thing I got left is something. The drag car is gone. I call the customer. I called the customer for the green car. He picked it up. We saw the hatch. We saw the Integra. Everything's gone. This is my driver. The only thing I got left is my S2000 CRX. My kids' cards. Even my wife's car went out. That's how much I made money for surviving. I'm looking for a job right now again. But I made money to survive. This is what is left over. So YouTube's not paying me enough yet. I mean, that's, I haven't even have seen a paycheck for YouTube, you know. But what well, used to be a good channel for me, yeah. passion, just die on me real quick. I got nothing left, just got a guy picking that up later on. You know, I guess I can put my cars in here. No two to work on them. Oh, well, guys. I'm about to cry, man. Psych! <laughs> you thought I was gonna sell my shit? <laughs> nah, bro. Thanks to this guy right here. We're pouring it up. And now we have the green car parts and parts. And look. Big old warehouse. And Tony, how you feel about this emerge, bro? Oh, man, it's amazing. I think this is gonna be a, just totally great. There's no possible way that anything bad can happen. We got this. This is exactly what the community's been waiting for, is for us to have a place like this to work on their cars. You know, plus the city and everything with that your house. Wasn't looking good with eight, nine cars there. <laughs> <laughs> so, we moving fast. All right, hold on, hold on. This little cutie, what's your name? Zoe. Joey. <laughs> and Dester. These are my two kids. They're gonna be around with us. So you're gonna see them a lot on the camera. Not on the cars, on the cameras. Yeah, they're not allowed to be near the cars. So, what are we doing here? So, that's our first bill over there. We're going to get that going for junior, senior, junior uh, father. And the red Integra, believe it or not, it's going to be for sale. And we're putting a case swap on it. If you're interested in buying this car, let us know. It's a sleeper, that's what we call it. It comes with S2000 seats, a K24, five speed. Show those rear brakes, bro. Uh, huh? Show those rear brakes on that. Yeah, brand new brakes all the way around. Brand new brakes. So, comes with a wing, comes with a uh, lip on it. And then, if you want to buy this car, watch the show, watch what we put on it. As soon as the car is done, we're going to try to sell it the way it is and see how much money we get out of it. The hatch is the second one. Motor sitting right over there. It's gonna go in here. This doesn't have too much to do. You just gotta put the transmission, put the motor in there, and get it running. And that, that's the big one right here. We gotta get a hold of Guillermo at GL Fabrications. He's in Lakeland right now. He's gonna come down, check this car out. We're gonna get this guy quoted on a full cage, 10 point cage, and uh, look at fabricating some, some stuff for his turbo setup, catch cam, Really, really happy that Guillermo GL Fab is going to work with us as well, doing fabrication work. You guys got to check him out on Instagram, GL Fabrication. SEMA quality work. 
Also, guys, this is going to be a transition. You know, this is our first day open. And um, when well, you see all the motors here, well, this is going to be our showroom here. And you're going to see that going up. We're going to make videos of that. You can watch my YouTube videos. You can watch his YouTube videos. His channel's blowing up. You need to follow him. Make it home. For that was Florida made him good. Now we're gonna blow up more. Forty subscribers overnight. That's good. Forty. That's good. Man, we going. It's so good. you have more than me. The most I had was ten. <laughs> so all this right here, look. And so you don't talk that so we don't only do imports or Honda. Well, we're gonna put a motor on that thing. And I'm, I'm, the reason I said, I, I said, go ahead, I put one in, is because my dad had one of these in the past, and I'm gonna put one in. Now that that is a Land Rover from Australia. That belongs to the guy that owns the building. So he asked us if we could put the engine transmission back in uh, when we moved in. And of course, that sounds like something we can make happen. Yeah. No we are have probably in the future, not right away. We're gonna have two left time machine and everything for all you guys locally. Our shop number is 239-900-6447. Anybody can call. Let me know. It's my tuner right there. And we got so, a dyno down the street we can rent. Yeah. So we ready. We are in Fort Myers, locally Fort Myers. Hit us up. Gajingarage.com at Yahoo. That's our email if you want to email us stuff. Uh, first day, bro. First day. You know, that's what happened when two impatient motherfuckers get together. <laughs> I'm definitely impatient. So, this is our little area right here. You see the S2 park out front, and it's a big warehouse. So, I know a couple of you are going to be like, yo, but what's going on? This is it, bro. This is it. This is YouTube heaven for us now. So, you guys have to make us blow up. Hit me a thousand subscribers. Hit him a thousand subscribers. Let's make this blow up. You're gonna see the showroom right here. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love everything that's gonna come out of here. Hey guys, so you know last time that you saw this hash, Tony was uh, tuning it, and then the owner took it apart and took it home after the tune it in the car lost compression. You came to find out there's a lot of stuff that people will not do, but you got heavy, heavy set of silicone all the way around. Half of the gears are very, very wear. It smells of fuel a lot. Timing was jump on the vehicle up and down. I don't see that much metal up here. We're gonna talk about to take the head off. It does have an ARP bolt at least. But they use a lot of, a lot of- uh, Honda bond. Honda bond all everywhere. That's not supposed to be right. And um, this one and this one are loose, loose tight tight super tight so that, that's giving us a head that my head might be a little bit warm so Tony's gonna grab one end I'm gonna grab the other we ready it started pouring out give me the first one why oh, you got the ball I want you to do it this way yeah you got the ball yeah I got it You have to go through the back like that. Take the manifolds off to really see. But this right here. Yeah, come here. Put it right here. Number four. You see, you see that this one is almost flat out? This oh, one. this head looks. Oof. Yeah, look. This valve right here. Look, right here. Let's go take a look at the block. Let's put look, the. Right here. Yeah, I see. That right one's there. not down. This. Look, look, move. Right there. They're bent a little bit. Yeah. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody took this motor to the machine shop already. They had, look. Yeah, I see. But like I said, they're supposed to be built up for turbo. This height? The whole motor. Bro, these are stuck. I can't explain why this was less loose than those. Then they have these all the way cranked down too. Yeah. They're not supposed to be cranked down like that. Oh, look, you're missing this. Does this one need that? 
Usually they have them in one of these. This block never been cut, but that's a good thing. Should here? Yeah, we're gonna have to see what the machine shop says about the walls. Yeah, but you see right let's, here? Let's turn the motor and see the other yeah. cylinder mm -hmm. walls. Start racking stuff down there. Sixteen eight. Okay, thirty. Hmm. Same detonation, same place. Oh, the piston is cracked right here. Right here, you see? Oh yeah. And it's broken. I think. Right here. It's broken, right? Right there. Yeah. Go up. That's as high as it goes. Yeah, it is looking. Okay, look, it's missing a piece. I don't know, the other ones maybe. It's hard to say. How's the walls on this one? Same thing. Same shit. That shit looks like it's been sitting forever. Look at mm -hmm. that one. Yeah, that's what it was, look. It has rust. This motor was. Put this motor together. It has quick. rust. Yeah. That's what makes water with no antifreeze, you know, that's what happens sometimes. Alright guys, let me show you what I did today, what we did. We took out the head off of the car. Finally examined the head very well. We found out here, let me put it right there. That head is messed up, guys. Look at the pistons on this. So, with that said, this build is gonna go going to a surgery. You know, I'm about to take the motor out. You pistons on it. Probably finding another head. Drop it in there, make it nice and pretty, and get it going. Then we got the K24 build, another K24 build. The K24 hatch, raising hatch, and then the P20 hatch. With that said, guys, I wanna say goodbye for the day. Hit like, hit share, subscribe. Peace out. Tony's over there talking to a customer. So there we go. If you guys need, it'll start. 239-900-6400.